Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions, and today we have a uh, Motec solar inverter. This is a PV Mate 3800 MS, uh, the AU models, which is Australian model. The 3800 there means it's a 3.8 kilowatt. Now this one's having an issue. You can see the operation light is on, but also the failure light is on. And if we have a look at the screen, it's coming up with uh, mode idle, so it's, it's idle at the moment. It's not actually working, and uh, you see it scrolls through a number of different readouts but it's coming up with this relay 2 so it's saying there's a problem with relay 2 inside the inverter now if your inverter is having an issue like this where it's coming up with uh, a, a, a message on the screen like that and it says a mode idle uh, then the system's not working you've got a problem um, with any problem with any solar inverter what we recommend trying first off is trying a reboot of the system because sometimes that can uh, uh, clear the fault and get your system back in action again. So with shutdowns of uh, solar power systems, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure which was supplied with your system, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which will be located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're just gonna throw that off. And then B, we've got turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's over the other side here, so we'll just get that. Throw that off. And you'll see in just a moment the screen will go blank as the inverter shuts down completely, as we can see there. And so now what we'll do is we'll just try and reboot the system and see if we can uh, clear that error. Now, like I said before, the shutdown important is quite important that you follow that as the uh, proper shutdown procedure. The startup procedure is nowhere near as important, just need to turn everything back on. So we'll turn the AC on here and the DC on. And we'll let it boot up and, uh, and see what it says. Now if you have a look on the right hand side of these MoTeC inverters, you've actually got the uh, system, the inverter system information. So it tells us the maximum operating voltage of the system, um, maximum current it can handle, and the nominal output power, 3800 watts. You do have this maximum output power which is 4400, but the 3800 is what it can do all day long, so it's rated really at 3.8 kilowatts in this case. So we'll see how that is going there now. So that's still in a startup procedure at the moment. So it's uh, counting down nine seconds there until it starts up. With the operation light flashing green like that, it's trying. It's in a startup procedure and it's it's trying to start up, but it's not actually working. If the inverter is working, the green light should be on constant. You can hear the relay is trying to click in there, inside the inverter. And you see it's come up this failure light again, so on, in this case the reboot hasn't rectified the issue, we've still got a problem. Now unfortunately the MoTeC company uh, no longer uh, operating in Australia, There's, they're not around anymore, so if you do have any problems with your MoTeC inverter, you've got two options, either you can try and get it repaired by a third party, or you can get it replaced altogether. If, if you do try and get it repaired, you're going to be looking at quite a bit of money, because you've got to pay to get it obviously taken off the wall, you've got to send, get it sent to uh, whoever actually repairs it, which, and it's going to cost you quite a bit of money to get it repaired, then it's got to be uh, reinstalled by, a, by an electrician as well. So you, you, you're not going to get a lot of change from five to $600. So in our opinion, you're much better off to bite the bullet, spend a bit more money and uh, invest that money in a good quality replacement inverter, put it towards a good quality replacement inverter, which is a, as a full warranty. And, uh, and just, uh, yeah, move on from there. So look, if your inverter is a MoTeC inverter like this and having issues like this and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland area and you could do it with some assistance or advice, don't hesitate to give Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions a call. We'd be happy to help. We've seen this issue before and we're happy to help. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.